He's there as you, look, can, look, as look, you can see, the chairs are empty. Guy. Look the behind the chairs guy. are empty, so look obviously he's setup. doing he's doing a heck of a job. Look at all the setup. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to block him up. <laughs> Welcome to PM Xanadu. PM of course stands for poverty melee. Welcome to the stream. Someone should at least just look at the bracket and call their own matches. Alright, so we have Video Game Bootcamp's own Apostle versus Squirtle Guy coming up. Really, anyone here could take this tournament. This I wouldn't be surprised. Button warmers. Well, Boss, well, Boss will take the tournament. I mean, the question is, I who's going to get second? That's not true. You're like the only one in here who's ever beaten Boss. I'm pretty dude, sure. I'm pretty sure Swag Apocalypse has come very close. I don't know if he has beaten him, but he's come very close multiple times. I've beaten him and come close another time. Oh, multiple times. But... I'm pretty sure that Bacon Pancake is to do it too. Oh, right, bacon. Well, Bacon can't beat right, Boss. This is the actual game. Because right. Boss actually plays Melee, and he'll just go ham on your Fox with whatever he feels like. Alright. But anyone else, you have a good chance. I didn't know they were actually playing. Alright. So. Is this real? <laughs> oh, you should have told us. <laughs> Bad commentators. Anyways. start over, because they did a button warm-up. Oh, Alright. Well. Alright, well, the real match will start. Uh, the, the funny thing about this matchup is I always like to say, you know, water's better than fire, but I feel like Charizard actually has a better time in this matchup. Really? I don't find this matchup that difficult for Squirtle. I don't know. I mean, the thing I is just, Charizard is so like, he's got that heavy floaty thing about him, so it's, it feels like it's harder to combo him. And he also just doesn't die to things like that. Even when DI'd, like, li that was literally well, the mean, worst possible DI you could do. It was also in the middle Ooh. of the stage, a nice forward smash, I'll take the stock. That's one way to get a kill, though. Bad, uh, not very good DI from Apostle, so... The Squirtle guy might actually start attacking on this damage. It looks like Apostle's actually having Ooh, a hard nice time. Oh, nice wave dash grab there. Yeah, Apostle's having a hard time getting this kill. Here we go. Up throw! Won't do it. No. Great DI. The no DI DI. Well, yeah, for up throw, that's the best DI. It's like Mario's fair. Oh! Oh, wow, the SD Apostle. showing us why he is the TO. Oh, <laughs> snap! Shot fired! Just kidding. Locked him down. Uh. Four stock to two. But the fair oh, will we'll finally do it. Fair. He's gonna taunt saying, yeah, that was all me. I did that. He hears me. He's smiling. He needs to start making up some damage real quick. Alright, he put in one there. Oh, Getting nice. With that jab. Showing us the insane grab range of Charizard. Alright. Yeah, Charizard's grab range is massive for a standing grab. I think it might be longer than Mars. He's got the... I mean, he like has like Tyrannosaurus Rex arms, so I don't know how. Oh, that was a great nair. Can he finish? No, oh, the second nair doesn't connect. That move is so hard. The up scores up is so hard to edge guard. It actually hits through the stage, so... Yeah, of course. But I feel like, because Charizard has so many jumps, he could just go out there and, and hit him from the other side. Which is like, the typical strategy for dealing with Squirtle. Yeah. Let's see if, uh... Ooh, oh. the F-Tilt? That, that had so much knockback. But, the Falling Nair, again, where's the edge guard? Nowhere, he has no edge guard. Alright, just gonna keep him up in the air. Oh, okay. <laughs> what a trade! See, I was expecting him to come down with a Nair, but instead he comes down with a Downer. It times it very well. Down smash. Oh, this oh, is the nice sweet spot, though. We actually have a little bit of a crowd for me because no one has matches to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, misses that follow up right there, and back there. Oh, he goes for up throw, it? but I don't think it's gonna kill. Oh, oh it, yeah, does. it does. Wow. All the way to the corner, Squirtle guy. How unfortunate. Two stacks apiece. Apostles actually brought oh, this that's back. Gonna that's gonna do it. Not sure. I think the DI was right, but he was just too close to the edge there. Nice little falling there, and it looks like Squirtle Guy is falling for that every time, so Apostle should just keep doing it. Oh, shield Ooh. grab. Up throw for the damage. Good 15% right there. I'm not really sure what kind of um, follow ups Charizard has on grabs, but uh, Apostle's opting to go for the up throw there for a good amount of damage. Oh, oh no! Oh, that's gonna be an SD. Yeah, I he feel the pain. He I messes feel it up, so yeah, much. you would. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen too. It's one stock apiece. Again, the terrible DI on that down throw. But he's going to come back. Actually, that that's like optimal DI for that situation because you know you're not going to die from the down throw, but if you di DI for the forward throw, or if you DI for the down throw, then you won't get hit with the forward throw combo. But if that happens, I'll bring it up again. And he Lofton, actually bringing this all the way back, he now has the percent lead. He could actually come out with game one. The falling near just out of range of that up smash. Oh, wow. Could, could this do it? Oh, oh, oh that was safe, too. Yeah. Oh, that bad oh. air dodge, but he doesn't get punished. This Will this be it? I don't it? think this is going to finish it, but the straight up DI. No. And that'll be it. Apostle somehow brings it back and takes game one. Can we fix his camera real quick? All right, cool.
Can we fix both cameras? <laughs> Neither camera was ever fixed. There we go. There we go. You guys can get a nice little view of the match behind. Is this a new Charizard Looks like I see a 3.5 because I've never seen Oh yeah, that's a new skin. It's so cool. Alright, so Apostle with the game one victory. Let's see what Squirtle Guy ends up counterpicking him to. If you guys have Twitters, go ahead, go ahead, uh, retweet our tweets for this tournament so we can get some more hype, get some more viewers. Yeah, we we because uh, Xanadu is on a different stream today, so let everyone know. And this is game number two here. Battlefield is going to be the counter pick. Nice little back throw, fair Charizard B and B's. Little up smash. He's gonna go up for it, but he doesn't get the the follow up. Oh, nice! Wait till I get up on the platform. Oh, he, he had oh, the right wow. idea with that down air, but he but just couldn't get there in time. A lot of options right there. What the spot the what? The, what is he waiting for? <laughs> uh oh, oh, oh! He makes it back. Nice down okay. smash. What's the follow -up? follow up? Oh. I mean, like, it never looks like it's gonna work, but it, it just ends up working. Like, it has it takes so long to charge, but it's so cool. Ooh, nice sweet, Nair. Sweet spot on the other side of Nair. And then he almost kills himself by accident. Squirtle Guy has Apostle off stage now, but not gonna quite complete edge guard here. <laughs> Apostle keeps trying to do this get up attack. But the get up attack doesn't hit Squirtle, because Squirtle's just so tiny. <laughs> He's done it twice in a row now. Oh, a fire? Fire does not beat water, my friend. <laughs> Exactly. Imagine if this was Brawl and type advantages we're still in. Yeah. Nice! Oh, wow. With the glide attack, he's gonna take it. And then oh, the up smash wow. to answer right back. It's three stocks apiece. He tries to wave land off that platform, but does not realize that the up smash will connect right there and have an even game here. They're both just hanging out at neutral. Squirtle Guy trying to bait something out because when he approaches, Lofton seems to stuff it, usually with jab. You see him trying to go for jab again right there, but at that time the Nair trumped through. Wow, nice that patience. read on the or not even a read, but he just waited for the roll and punished on reaction. Oh, tries to read a get up normal get up there, but doesn't quite get it. Here he goes. He's going up there for the follow up. No, Squirtle guy could use a side B to get back to the stage. Oh, weird wow. choice. That was very clear that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> He, did, he wasn't even within edge grab range. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if oh, Squirtle nice can, up tilts. Squirtle gonna try and tag on the damage before he loses this stock. Already 41. Spot dodges for days. <laughs> yeah, for real. Lofton looking for a oh, way to goes. land. Baits the up B. That is not. It's, that's usually only working in a combo. If you can really surprise him, it might work, but it's really hard to get off. Yeah, the man Ju Chains would know. The inventor of the combo himself. Up throw <laughs> from Lofton. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bait out an up smash there, but... One more up throw! Gonna do it. Yeah, it's going to take the stock. Even with good DI, though. Two stocks apiece. Apostle took 86 damage on that stock, letting Squirtle Guy just take a nice lead. Let's see if Lofton can bring it back like he did in game one. Apostle not really making use of the crouch cancel. It's very effective against Squirtle, and that up smash is going to take the stock. And crouch Especially as Charizard is so heavy, he can crouch cancel to very high percents. Yeah, I'm not really sure what what kind of options he has out of crouch cancel. Maybe just even a jab would do something, or a forward tilt. But not really taking advantage of that in this matchup. And the damage continuing to flow from Squirtle Guy. Now Lofton's got a little bit of something started. Oh, nice bait on that up tilt. Yeah, but up tilt, very quick move. It was a very safe option in that position. He's trying to bait out a couple moves, and this is not looking good for... Oh, wow, does not quite get the edge guard. Every time I haven't seen uh, Apostle sweet spot the edge, uh, Squirtle Guy has not been able to take advantage of it. Ooh, the pivot grab. What a read. Back throw to fair. Oh, that's, that's actually going to take it. the stock. Your Charizard B and B is right there, and he, I haven't seen him do it that much, but when he does it, it's effective. Oh, got him He's off stage here. Again. Oh, is he going get the spike? Oh, oh, not quite. He thought about it. I think if he didn't jump there, he would have had it. But Apostle doing exactly like he did in game number one, having an amazing last stock. Oh, got him off stage again. Oh, nice fair. Oh, 
And oh. there's the shield grab. No, he rolled. Uh, he was going to back throw. I'm not really sure if he could have gotten that. I think Squirtle was spaced that he was going to go behind uh, Charizard. He grabs the ledge. Oh, he tries to go for get up attack. Not in a good spot right now. Over 100%. His get up is going to be slowed. Oh, he gets a weak hit of F Smash. He's not dead yet. Oh, he tries to go for glide attack. It's so close. Last hit situation. Jabs oh. him out of grab. Getting pushed back on Squirtle Shield just a little bit too much. The up smash, the follow up. He's waiting it out. That oh. could do it. No, great deal from Squirtle Guy. The Nair. It's both of them at 130%. This is oh, last goes, hit. Just a little bit too high there. The oh, punish. That could be it. On the top the platform, that's going to finish it. And a great wave dash out of Shield finishes the set 2 0 for Video Game Bootcamp's Apostle.